Hey guys, welcome back to another video of the barn build. So I'm not even sure what part of the barn build this is anymore. Part seven, part eight, I guess when I get to editing the video, you'll see that. And today I'm gonna to be working on, I'm gonna be working on the beams that I'm gonna be using for the barn. And so these are gonna be the very top beams that are gonna sit on top of the posts. And so a couple of these are gonna get cut in half, which is gonna go on the back wall. And some of these are just gonna stay the same big old size that they are now. And that's gonna go on the front of the barn for maximum support and support of the span width of the uh, front of the barn. Now you'll see something in my hand here that should excite some of you. And this is a new tool that just showed up in the mail. And that would be my new metal detector. Okay, so you all convinced me, right? <laughs> And so we're gonna be using this today in the video. We're gonna see how well it works. So it's a little bit of a product test because I've never used this particular metal detector on anything before. So this is the, the Wizard 5 metal detector. I got it on Amazon for about 150 bucks. No, I am not paid, no, I am not sponsored, but we're gonna see how this works today. So I'm excited for that. And first thing we're gonna do, because I'm gonna to have to cut some of these in half on the sawmill, is we're gonna use this metal detector to see if there's any metal in these things before I start running my blades through it. So hopefully this is effective and hopefully I don't waste any blades in the process today. And my hope is, is that we're gonna get some uh, mortises cut in the beams in this video. And so we're gonna go ahead and try to do all of that. And after the mortises are cut, it's as simply as assembling and then starting to lift the walls of the barn. So we're getting very, very close to finishing this project. All right guys, let's get started. Well, right off the bat, we found one right here, and I probably would have never found that by myself. And there is a nail that is stuck right in here. So let's see if we can get it out. All right, I don't know if you all can see that on the camera, but there's actually a screw that is right there. Not a nail, it's a screw. So I'm gonna put my vice grips on it and see if I can maybe leverage it out here. Uh, well, I got it turning. There you have it, that's a good one right there. Well, if this thing is telling the truth, there's no more nails in this one. Okay, so that's the first beam that is done with the new Wizard 5 metal detector. And I actually got quite a bit of metal out of it. Um, these bigger ones, uh, obviously you don't need much of a metal detector to find those because, well, they're huge. You can see those with your naked eye. But these smaller ones, um, these I might have never found with my own eye because they're rusted. They're about the same color as the wood. This screw was the first one that you saw. That's quite a dandy. That would have been a blade ruiner for sure. And then these smaller ones, you know, I mean, I think I just saved myself a lot of money in blades. What do you think? Now that we have all the metal pulled out of this beam, we're gonna take it over to the sawmill and we're gonna cut this thing in half. The reason we're doing that is because this back wall has enough support. I'm pretty comfortable with an eight by eight holding a 10 foot span. So we're gonna take this Cut it directly in half, and that's going to be part of our back wall. I wanted you guys to see this. This is what we just cut. Look at this beautiful spruce. Oh my goodness. Absolutely gorgeous. 
doesn't it just make you excited to see if this is the kind of timbers that I'm working with, how beautiful and how really how strong this barn is gonna be when it's all said and done. Now all the beams are cleaned up like I wanted them to be cleaned up and so there's one more thing that I have to do yet in this video that I want to show you and that's making the, the uh, mortises for these posts. Now these are actually going to be what we would call the headers that sit on top of the posts of the barn. For those of you that don't know what a mortise is, it's simply a hollowed out area in the wood where something called a tenon or another piece of wood fits in. And hopefully we can do a really good job with this and make it nice and snug and make it perfect fitting. Of course, in the professional woodworking side of my business and of my life, I have done a lot of hand cut tenon and mortise type of joinery, but nothing quite this big with this kind of tool. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, I want to show you just some few of the simple, really basic tools that we need in order to do this. First thing is just a couple of squares. I have my bigger carpentry square and then I have my, my smaller square that we're going to use for doing this. I have made a simple template in the shop. And this is going to be the width of the tenon. And did you know that your carpentry square, this is a, an old school trick that oddly enough, not a lot of people know, uh, this is two inches wide. That's the width of my tenon. And that's how deep uh, traditional timber framing joinery was done, a lot of it, or on this side. So anyhow, uh, this is gonna be used to make sure that everything fits perfect. So I really don't have to do too much double checking if I know all of this fits together. Now as far as how I'm going to hog out all the wood and hollow everything out quickly, I'm going to use this right here. Now I could use uh, a different type of bit on the end of this, um, but I'm just going with a basic spade bit. This is an inch and a half and that leaves me room for error. Uh, should I make a mistake left to right so that I can make sure to get everything perfectly straight. And then I have this cool little attachment that goes on here. Um, I got this at my local Ace Hardware store. And it allows me to extend it, and as you can see, it still spins nice and straight, even with that attachment on it. And there was different types of uh, lengthening devices <laughs> that they sold in the store, um, but this one was the most sturdy and the strongest, and so that's what I want, of course, when I'm doing this. Now the last thing, of course, is going to be my framing chisel. Um, you might have seen in a previous video that I got this chisel. Go back and watch all of the other barn videos if you haven't. And then this right here is just my normal rubber mallet. Nothing super fancy here. Um, this is a, a new purchase for me and the biggest chisel that I currently have in my shop. And so I'm looking forward to getting started with this <laughs> and getting the barn built. Here's the first one. There's the middle one. Now this one on the end might look a little weird because 
it's only half notched out. And the reason for that is, is because there's a post that only meets halfway through there. And here's the whole post right here, 20 foot long. That's one of three that is gonna be in the back. Well guys, for the sake of brevity, I am going to cut this video off right now because all I really wanted you to see was me mortising out these sections in these top header boards on the barn. Now, there's one more video before we get to assembling, and that is for the side posts, where I'm gonna do some dovetail work on the sides, and then after that's done, we're gonna start putting this whole barn together. Oh, and I can hardly wait to get to that point, and I know those of you who have been watching along with me, you can hardly wait too. Um, whenever I post videos in between barn videos, the questions always get asked, What's up with the barn? Where's the barn at? And here's the truth of the matter, guys, is that my shop is very, very busy right now. And whenever you own your own business, you spend a lot of time on the things that make you money, which is the customer's projects, and not the things that you do on your own. And so that's kind of what has been happening with the barn build video. But we are gonna get it done because it has to get done. The sawmill needs a home, and I've recently purchased some logs that need to get sawn, some walnuts, some cherry, and guys, stay tuned because there is going to be another video of me doing a massive log. And I know that some of you all love to see those kinds of videos. And so that will be a challenge for us to work together. Guys, I want to thank you for watching another video on the barn build. Please go ahead and watch the rest of the videos in this playlist. And check out my other sawmill and woodworking videos. God bless you all. Bye.